Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow were infamous American criminals who captured the nation's attention. During the Great Depression era, their daring robberies, violent crimes, and ability to evade capture for an extended period of time have made them legendary figures in American folklore. This article will delve into the lives of Bonnie and Clyde, exploring their backgrounds, their criminal activities, and the tragic end to their notorious spree. Bonnie Elizabeth Parker was born on October 1, 1910, in Rowena, Texas. She grew up in a typical working-class family and displayed a talent for writing poetry and acting from a young age. Despite her dreams of becoming an actress, Bonnie's life took a different turn when she met Clyde Chestnut Barrow. Clyde was born on March 24, 1909, in Teleco, Texas, into a poverty-stricken family. He had a troubled childhood, marked by poverty and run-ins with the law. Clyde's early experiences shaped his view of the world, and he turned to a life of crime as a means to escape the poverty and hardship that surrounded him. Bonnie and Clyde's path crossed in 1930, and it was an instant connection. Both young and full of dreams, they found solace in each other's company. Their shared love for adventure and rebellion led them down a path of crime, and they embarked on a journey that would make them infamous. Bonnie and Clyde formed a gang that included Clyde's brother, Buck Barrow, and his wife, Blanche, together. They embarked on a series of daring robberies, targeting banks and small businesses. Bonnie played a crucial role in the gang, serving as the lookout and getaway driver during their heist. Clyde, known for his quick temper and willingness to use violence, became the face of the gang. Their crimes were characterized by their audacity and disregard for the law. Bonnie and Clyde were adept at evading capture, often escaping from the scenes of their crimes and stolen cars. They became notorious for their ability to outsmart law enforcement and for their willingness to engage in shootouts to protect their freedom. The media quickly caught wind of Bonnie and Clyde's exploits, and their story captured the imagination of the public. They were portrayed as modern-day Robin Hoods, stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. This romanticized image of Bonnie and Clyde as folk heroes added to their allure and made them legends in their own time. However, the reality of Bonnie and Clyde's crimes was far from heroic. They were responsible for the deaths of numerous police officers and innocent bystanders. During their crime spree, despite their ability to evade capture for an extended period, Bonnie and Clyde's luck eventually ran out. Law enforcement agencies across the country were determined to bring an end to their reign of terror. On May 23, 1934, a group of law enforcement officers ambushed Bonnie and Clyde near Gippsland, Louisiana, where both were killed without firing a shot.